All right, uh, so shoot, what do we not need to know what we're gonna talk about? Shoot, um, probably gonna talk about Dragon Ball Legends or something. Um, I just want to say that I truly am enjoying this anniversary. This is probably by far one of my favorite Dragon Ball anniversaries that has came out in the recent years. Um, I enjoyed Legends Fest. I really did. But I think who said it? Goresh and the others, you know, other people. It, everybody pretty much got the same thing. This is literally the best Dragon Ball anniversary. Um, I might add some gameplay in between me talking. I don't know. I'm doing, you know, recording and then I'm gonna put stuff up later. But this is by far one of my favorite Dragon Ball celebrations. I enjoy Goku and Frieza. I enjoy that they got a buff, but like I hate how people are kind of like, oh, um, Goku and Frieza are too broken now. Like, what? This is, isn't this what you wanted? Like, I understand they're the main anniversary headline unit, and some people are like, they're a little too strong. They're the main headline anniversary unit. They're supposed to be strong. They were good before the buff, but I, I would literally tell you they are, <laughs> boy, they are way better than what you would expect when they get a buff. I also enjoy the Rise and Rush mechanic. Um, I f it's a lot of play around it, and you know, once you get a good skill around it, you will understand how to not really, you know, proc it when you're going against them. Um... I also really enjoy how there is a sub count down and you know you can activate it and you can remove people's buffs. That was their main problem. But now that they do that and you can counter the rising rush better, people are complaining about it? What? Like is what that is the dumbest thing I have ever seen in my life. They're great. I really enjoy Goku and Frieza. I uh, this is by far my I don't I haven't used them like that much lately because I've been using more of the Piccolo Kid Boo setup. It's really fun. I promise you it's so much fun. But um what I used I run them on LOE with Red Cooler and the purple first form Frieza. And you know, I do some up, uh, you know, they got double Zen Kai buffs going, so you know they hit really hard and also got them at six stars which i got very lucky um i kind of stopped you know doing a lot of summon videos because i have you know current problem with my phone i was trying to set this little setup up and whatnot so i was like you know i don't got the time for it but they're great they're strong i wish cooler would f get a plat i really hope he gets a plat soon because I'm a cooler lover, you know. Last year, I already I, like I used to play cooler. I play cooler in all the Dragon Ball games, like. But you know, cooler really did his thing last year. So he get, he came out a little too strong, but he's he's he he doesn't even hold up at all. So you know, I just use him to bull to bull around, you know. But I need him to be stronger, so I want a platform. Um. I, that's pretty much all I have to say for Goku Freeze right now. I'm just talking. I'm just rambling. There's more. Like, um, I want more things to happen this anniversary. They're, they pretty much done a lot. Only thing is the Ultra Banner that's coming up. I hope it's like Zamasu or something. Like, um, uh, yeah, I really want a Zamasu. Vegito Blue is cool, but I'm not going to lie to you. Um, how many ultra fusions do we have we have damn zamasu still would be on a fusion never mind it's that was from the random about it but still we have a lot of ultra fusions i'm kind of not you know a little happy about that but you know I, I like the trend that we're going on you know how we got hit boo rose what a broly you know we finally got two non saiyan ultras you know, summonable ultras this year. I would like to keep that trend going, you know? Uh, I understand Zamasu would not be a Saiyan. Yeah, he wouldn't be a Saiyan. 
So he can be helpful, you know, on the fusion team. God key, future, you know, future can't go without getting buffs. So you gotta buff future. You know, they already got one of the most annoying units ever. So I totally recommend, you know, uh, the future buffs. <laughs> but I right, one of the, the alter that I, I feel like Zamasu would probably or the banner, not the banner, the unit that he sees would totally be. Probably like a banner unit, probably. But if it's the main unit, please be Zamasu. I will summon and I will go book well, and there will be summon videos, and there will be lots of frustration during the summon video. <laughs> um. Yes. Yeah, so. It was. Oh man, I got on a whole side note, a whole tangent, but I just started talking and rambling. I really, 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 really enjoy. Um, seeing other people use other teams on Legends, that's where I wanted to go. I really enjoy seeing people use units such as like the Kawe and the Casserole and Jiren. Jiren is mighty annoying because I do run a lot of purples. Like every team I run has a purple on it besides region because there's no real purple to use. And Cell is the last, the latest, not latest. Actually, it is Power Awakened Piccolo, but he's a little trash. I'm not going to lie to you. So, I would prefer Cell over him. But, at the same time, Cell is kind of ass. So, if I prefer Cell over Piccolo, you know, it's kind of ass. It's not fun. I'll get showing. It's not fun. So, yeah. But, Jiren destroys a lot of purples. He's very annoying to fight, but he's also fun to fight against because... Um, he does a lot of damage and he tanks really well, so he keeps the fight going, but he doesn't do Ooga Booga damage, you know, he whittles your health down and that's the fun of him, but you have to whittle his health down. So I enjoy, I enjoy fighting gyms and I enjoy kind of using them. I don't use them a lot because I have a lot of PTSD over trying to use cheering the pride troopers. Um, I still only I still have no wins using the full pride trooper team. That is like the only team I struggle against, struggle with. Like I can use first form cell and get racks and lows of wins, but you boy, if you put me with a, uh, a pride trooper team, I'm gonna struggle. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, so that is yeah, that's Jiren Casserole. He's cool. I see people trying to make use of him with his gauge manipulation. That's very annoying though. It's very annoying. But I don't really see the problem with the gauge manipulation. I feel like he should have been a little bit stronger to be real with y'all. Um, like he probably could have done more. I haven't read his kit in a minute, so but all I know is he has gauge manipulation, he's very squishy. That's what he's squishy. So I probably would never really use him. Or right, Kawe, she's pretty annoying with her sub count manipulation, allowing Jiren to do Jiren things and Goku and Frieza to Goku and Frieza all over you. So yeah, she's she's a pretty solid support. Um, what else came out? Who else came out? Uh, oh yeah, that's it for the first. Um, uh, I'm enjoying the raids. I'm enjoying, I'm not really playing a lot of PvP lately, I really, 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 really hate double XP seasons, I just, they, they are too long, they're too long, they, I just don't, I just don't enjoy them, and I also hate how, like, I don't know how to explain it, but people get really desperate during double SP seasons where they just rush you out of nowhere. It's not fun. It's not fun to me, so I just don't play it. I, I have to say it every time, like, I even talk about double SP. I don't like it. I hate it. <laughs> um, I'll play a couple games here and there. I have a good win streak going. I'll put it like that. But I'm not actually at rank 70. I just don't feel like playing it. <laughs> But once regular season come back, you know, probably after Legends Fest, I'll probably do a lot more. I might draw a couple of Legends videos. I just want to see how, you know, to get more things going. I don't know, but it's pretty fun. <laughs> um, not fun, but it's it's cool. It's okay. It's okay. That's what I meant to say. It's okay. 
shoot what else came out um the p what who yeah power weekend piccolo nerd gohan the gammas and magenta i think that's how you say his name um mm, i enjoy power weekend piccolo i see he's more of a tech based character like you actually have to know how to like work him. It's just he's so goddamn soft, y'all. I can't lie to y'all. He does not take a hit well. Only time he takes a hit is if you happen to have like just that equipment against a trash character. <laughs> That's the best way I could put it. Um Or somebody doesn't have proper equips on their characters, but once you go against you know somebody that has those good equips piccolo is kind of trash he's horrible but yeah as you know it yeah he's kind of trash <laughs> i'm trying to like be positive i'm a you know i love piccolo i use a lot of lf piccolo i i shoot i would still use him eat before kid Buu came out and probably after kid Buu, you know I thought, you know, went off Kid Buu for a minute. I might go back to Piccolo, but he needs help. Ella Orange Piccolo needs a lot of help. Um, I feel like they need to drop a... Instead of doing the buff for him, they probably should drop a pure defensive equipment for him. And, you know, I probably can definitely write, like, a really good line for his defense what he needs he probably needs like 25% defense and um no 25% the period blast and strike defense uh I don't know 15% I don't know damage inflicted or something and then you know it goes up to 20% damage inflicted once 30 timer counts pass by you know there you go Bam, perfect. And then the rest will be like, oh, special move damage up. Cause his, no, his, yeah, his super and orange piccolo doesn't even hit that hard for real. Like, for it to hit hard, you have to juice him up. You have to juice him up. I run him with baby and give him baby support, and he still does not do it completely. Like, it, he does ass damage. I have to throw out Kid Boo to like finish somebody off. But the thing I do enjoy with him is his blue card and the green card combo for Kid Boo. I feel like he's a Kid Boo support. He's instead of him being the main character, I realize he has to be more of a support for Kid Boo. That's what his job is to do is to juice up Kid Boo. You know, he gives him health, damage inflicted, green cards. But Orange Pickler himself as a character is not that good. I, you know, I had to think it over. It's not that good. Um, who was uh, Nerd Gohan? I have, I don't see nobody run him. Partly the first day, and he kind of gets shit on, so yeah. You know, I just, I threw out a kid boo on him, and I did a lot of damage to him off one strike card. Um, and this was like a eight star something go on so he's he's not that good i think from what i see is that he can juice up characters you know juice them with his support or whatever but i haven't even read his kit i don't care for gohan right now i'm gonna keep it real with y'all i am very gohan out you know with beast i love beasting on people don't 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 get it twisted now if it came through the time I will beast on you <laughs> with Gohan. I love me some beast Gohan. Um uh the gammas I have yet to even pull them. I am probably not gonna summon on their banner anymore because I could care less about the gammas. But if I do summon it's probably because I want LF Androids. That is the only LF I kinda really want to use besides cooler. I managed to pull cooler. I didn't even know he was on the banner, but I really want the androids over the gammas, and that's weird to say, but come on now. It was like the best unit for a while. I want to see what the power is. Like, 
I probably, you know, probably gonna struggle a little bit with them, but you know, you know, the androids, they can, I, I've got worked plenty of times against them, so I want to see what they're about. Uh, Magenta, or Manetta, or whatever, I don't, I don't feel like reading this name, but, um, he seems okay ish like he seems okay um <laughs> i just lied to y'all i don't even know what he does like all i know is he does cell max cell max comes out that's it he's ass pretty much i'm not gonna lie to you dude these part two banners are ass i think the only good units are the gammas the gammas is okay they're pretty okay um i kind of enjoy that their tag unit that doesn't switch elements or reverse elements but after them trying it i'm not gonna lie to you um <clears throat> we just gave hit you know a little bit more advantage for like the next couple of seasons you know i'm just gonna have to use hit so think about that you know I'm just gonna use, you know, that one strong red unit, you know. When you're in the full combo, I just throw out the red unit. Oh, you wanna reverse and gain your health back? Okay, that's cool, but you're still not doing damage. I'm just gonna use my red unit. What are you gonna do, rush? Oh, sub count manipulation. Okay, okay, that's, that's cool. That's how I think, you know. I think, but there's not a lot of red units. You have, what, the Gohan, the nerd Gohan that nobody uses, and you have hit that nobody uses. So, I feel like they'll be okay. And they'll be okay. But if you come across a hit user, you may lose horribly. <laughs> um, that's pretty much it right now. Uh, what else? I enjoy the stones. I mean, the crystals. I've actually gotten really lucky on the LF uh, multi Z power on the little, um, the little login bonus. I've actually gotten it twice in a row. So. I'm very happy with that. I'm very content with that. I also got 100 stones. Um, the Dragon Ball event, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's fucking trash. Because everybody I talk to does not play Legends no more. So, yeah. You know, I'm kind of missing out on my 1000 Chrono Crystals. You know. Which is, it's okay. You know, I'm not salty about it. But I forgot there is the Legends little website thing. It's a little hat. I for, not the hat, but I forgot what it's called. But I'm too lazy to do it. The Dragon Ball event just, it just needs to go. It just needs to go. Or be revamped. I really hate having to scan codes for it. It's stupid. Um, like, they should get people who doesn't, you know, have a lot of Dragon Ball Legends friends, you know, alternatives. Such as uh, a daily, not a daily quest, but more of a rng battle or something like that like okay if you do this every single day you know three times every single day you may have a chance to get the dragon ball all the way up into the anniversary and it clears everything off if you don't have friends there you go and to prevent you know you from you know getting bougie with it you know you can take one off from the dragon ball event so you know if i happen to you know get a reward that happened if I do get a reward and you know it goes off from that one cold scan so if I do only have one friend I can do that event to get you know those Dragon Balls or something you know I'm just that's that's my idea for it that's just um um I think that's one good thing that's the one I get idea the stones are generous everything looks generous um the what is it the uh, chance time I'm not gonna lie to you I've gotten lucky on that like once I don't think I've gotten anything from this previous chance time I think I put the right one so I just don't know so I just I could care less about it right now um let me see Charlotte I don't give a damn I really don't cuz I just don't care <laughs> like I only t only grinded him so I can see what he does, and none of it, you know, what piques my interest for real. Like, is all stuff that I don't see, 
and yeah, yeah, he's 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 truly a unit to me, you know. <laughs> he's truly a unit, so yeah, I don't I could care less about Shadi. <laughs> um, shoot, I ran out of stuff to say, so I'm probably gonna end it right here. Um, I'm gonna find. I don't know what I'm gonna put here. I'm probably going. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna have the legends something going or you know something. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Like, make sure you like and subscribe. I'm just talking. Yeah. <laughs> have a good one, y'all. Peace.